Alrighty traders, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. You know what's really funny? You know what's really interesting? Why is the market sliding today? Why is the market sliding today, guys? I wonder why. I hope you guys can see that what's happening with the markets right now, right? We're continuing to get some more slides. Russell's, what? Russell's pulling back. Uh, everything's start, everything starting to pull back a little bit more. Everything's getting a little bit weaker, right? Why is that? I hope you can see. My whole purpose around all these videos for you guys is to teach you that there's universal base principles around how markets work. And it doesn't mean that's gonna work 100% of the time. Nothing does, right? But it just gives you probability. How come I, how, how did I, how did I pick the Bitcoin false breakout? Just simple analysis. Why is the stock market pulling back just a little bit more, right? Why are we getting a little bit of weakness right now? Same, the, the exact same thing, the exact same technique I used to say the Bitcoin's gonna have a false breakout is the exact same reason why we're getting a slide, right? A, a, a bit of a, a bit of a weakness, in, even in even in right now, right? We saw this coming. The weakness already happened in the stock market. That there, Russell is all, Russell is already starting to have a bit of a pullback. We'll get to the charts in just a minute, but. You know, and then the Dow Jones is happening and so on and so forth, right? So you just, uh, the whole thing about this guys is that you use these, these universal based principles about reading in markets, right? It applies to all markets. So uh, the exact same technique I used to say, Bitcoin's gonna be a false breakout, don't get involved, is the, uh, you know, just, just, just don't touch it, right? It's the, the, the exact same thing I used was the exact same thing I used for the stock market. Why is the Russell pulling back a lot right now? Why did the Nasdaq, what, what, so on and so forth, right? You know what's really also interesting, guys? Before I get into the market, um, is this screenshot right here. Look at this here. You have, <laughs> you, you have, right, look at this. So you have, in this market, you have investors are so bullish, and just, just underneath it, just underneath it, you have, uh, you have the market obviously sliding down. So I hope this, uh, this, once again, traders, my whole purpose around these videos here is to try to teach you guys some things, right? Some universal based principles instead of trying to guess, right? And unfortunately, that if you go based off these headlines, these headlines out there, the herd mentality, and this is where it's so hard for the individual investor, because I spoke to someone just recently, even yesterday, he said, John, I've been watching all the YouTube videos and I've been trading based off them. I'm like, that's why you suck, right? Because most people, the, the, if, if, the, if the herd is saying one thing, the market's gonna do the other thing. It's just the way it is, right? Uh, you know, if people are greedy, be fearful, and so on and so forth. So we, we need to flip it on its head there, but that takes a while for, that, for, for, the, for that to happen there. So anyway, traders, I'm gonna get into the markets right now for you guys, but just remember, traders, that, that we can pull it back. We don't have to complicate it. And we can use some simple analysis. Doesn't mean we doesn't mean we, we definitely know what's going to happen, but it can give us a sense of a sense of understanding what's going on in the markets right now. And that's what I've been trying to share with you guys in these videos. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna get my trading done right now, because that's what I do. I trade the last half an hour of the US stock market. I'm gonna get my trading done, and then I'm gonna finish off this video for you guys with the good old technical analysis, looking at the charts, looking at all that stuff that some of you guys really like as well too. So anyway guys, I'm gonna head back, let's get into it. Alrighty traders, let's get into the TA, the TA, the TA, the TA. Technical analysis of the markets, bit of a market recap for you. Why are we getting a bit of weakness in the markets right now guys? Why are we getting some weakness in the markets? What's, what's been going on this last few weeks guys? What's going on in the last few weeks? Russell's been getting a pullback like 10% now or something like that. NASDAQ had a bit of a sharp drop at the start of the year. Dow Jones is looking quite weak. What's going on? Even the mining sector is starting to get hit right now. What's going on with these markets? Oh my goodness. I could never have seen this happen, right? Even the fight, even the actual, uh, the banking sector is actually looking quite weak as well too. So on through to the, on through to the NASDAQ guys, on through to the NASDAQ. And if we look at the actual NASDAQ, let's actually go to the composite NASDAQ. We can see we're making a bit of a double top right now. This is high, this is lower high. We're now going through what's, we got, we're now going through a refueling phase, right traders? So for you guys that don't know about me, hi, my name is John Howe and I am the man. <laughs> How many dislikes did I just get? All right, it's all right. Um, actually, I'm not the man, right? I'm just, I'm just a trader. And I please, I do not take that that attitude to the markets because if I say that to the markets, the market's gonna give me a sweet humble pie. So I keep it cool. But anyway, um, 
<laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, I'm going to keep that in the recording. Who cares? Um, I'm, a whole, I'm having a whole bunch of fun here, traders. Um, I just got off a session with my, with my private clients, by the way. Um, and because I'm with my private clients every day. And we went through like about 40 minutes of just pure, amazing tech, technical analysis and strategies and content. And oh my goodness, just I'm so... And there's some really, really, really amazing setups here, guys, that's happening across the market. And one of the biggest things, guys, for you as a trader is knowing what a good setup looks like in the first place, right? I, I speak to a lot of trade. I speak to a lot of people on the phone who apply for my coaching because it's an application process only. Um, and the big thing that I'm seeing right now, trades, the big thing I'm seeing right now is that people are going to the markets, but they don't even they don't even know in the back of their mind what an amazing quality setup looks like. Do you even know what an amazing quality setup looks like? That if you saw it on the chart, you're like, oh my goodness, this here has like over a 90% win loss ratio, and this actually has a chance of actually having a really nice move. If you don't have that, then you should have that, right? Again, um, my that first thing in the description there, guys, go join my webinar today and I'll teach you, I'll actually teach you my number one trading pattern that I look for. That it doesn't come around that often, but when it does, you can start to you can start to apply to when you're trading right now. Okay. So go join my webinar first thing in the description there, guys. But that's the biggest thing for you, right? And I see so many people out there that they don't they go into the market to trade, but they don't even know what an amazing setup looks like. So they go into the market looking for anything, and then suddenly we're going backwards from here. I don't want that for you guys, right? I want you guys to kick some serious bats backside this year, right? 2024. You know what? I'm trying. I think I'm trying to think of a quote right now, guys. All right, I'm trying to think of a quote. What is this? That's right. Twenty. I'm gonna knock down the door in 2024. Actually, you know what? Put 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 that in the comment section below. I'm gonna knock down the door in 2024. Let's see. <laughs> put that in the comment section below and hit the like button, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so we used here, right? We used a lot of fuel here. We used a lot, a lot of fuel in the marketplace, didn't we? A lot of fuel in the marketplace. So, what we all, what what we what also happened when it comes to that is guess what is guess what after we are when the market goes up we use a lot of energy. Now what is happening now? We're just going what sideways. Why? Because we're now building some and we're now refueling that energy source. Right? You went to the gym. You kicked some ass. You made it happen. Here we go. And then now you're like after an hour of that you're like pre workouts worn off. Nothing. <laughs> I'm going home to have a banana and some. I'm going to have a. I'm going. I'm going home to have a banana and a nap as well too. Right? Cause I'm tired. I need. I need a rest. That's what the market does. Market go up. Right? I'm getting tired. I'm going to go have some rest. And then we come down and we have a bit of rest. And then we may get get going again. I truly believe, guys, that throughout the rest of this year, that we're going to have a pretty quiet year. Right? It's going to be a pretty quiet year. Pretty. A pretty quiet. Um. I don't expect too much out of the markets. But the second half of this year, oh, ho, 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 right? And especially right now, Trace, especially right now. Right now, we are in a in a refilling phase. And a lot of the times when we're in a refilling phase, uh, the market can be quite volatile, right? We can, it, ooh, oh, geez, we, 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 it can be quite volatile. So that's what I'm expecting right now when it comes to the good old NASDAQ day traders, right? We just, do, right now, when we go through the, when we go through the different phases, uh, we can go when we go through different phases, as in like when the market's making a strong move up, we use a little bit of energy. Now we now it's come to a point in time where we need to build a build a bit of energy before we get going again. Okay, this is how all markets work, trade. It's not just the stock market; it's all market, right? Because the way that I personally trade, and again, that strategy that I teach, my my number one trading strategy, I teach on the webinar. I teach you for free. First thing in the description there, guys. It's, it's a strategy that works across all markets, right? So it's an all market strategy, all market strategy. And so what I'm seeing right now is that that's what's seen through here. I don't expect to see too much of a drop on the NASDAQ through there, but looking at the Dow Jones though, the DJ, the DJ has made a very, very, very strong move up. And now we're just, we've been, we've actually been slowing down a little bit. Look at this here. So we went up, 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 and then through there, right? This is what I call the roller coaster pattern. Right, the roller coaster pattern. Go up, 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 and then down again, right? And then down again. Now I don't I don't expect it to get to, to that level there. We may get down to here somewhere, right? But I do expect to see a, some form of a correction, a bit of a pullback out of the Dow Jones, because we haven't actually had that yet. But with that being said, the good old DJ, the good old Dow Jones, guess what? I believe that this is the start of a very big bull market. Now, what is a bull market, right? There's a differences from 
A bull market is what? Market go up, pull back. This is a bull market, okay? High highs, high lows, no dirge on. What is this? This here is this here is just a move up, down, up, right? So there is a bull market, and then there's the phases in the bull market. We go through a move for upside. We just need a bit of a resting phase. Then we go from another move to the, we go through, we go back to the gym again. Then we may have a day or two off. And then we go back to gym again. And then we have a week off. And then we come back to gym again, you know. And then after a while, we get really, really tired and then we don't do anything, okay? Um, <laughs> we become lazy. Um, so, <laughs> so we see that through there, right? So I'm just trying to share with you guys. This whole pullback that I'm seeing right now, guys, is just a natural flow of the market in a bull market, right? And this is just a pullback or a counter trend, a whipsaw in a big bull market, I truly believe, right? Now, we're not there yet, but by looking at the big weekly charts, this is the weekly chart here. I honestly, truly believe that we made this very big move up. This is just a nice, healthy pullback before we really get going, before we really get going. Nice big pullback before we really get going, okay? Really get, <laughs> whether really, really, all right? Look at the NASDAQ, uh, the Russell. Russell, complete false fake breakout, false fake breakout, all right? And then now drop down, but uh, 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 not too soon, not too soon. And what I mean by not too soon is that this fake out is just the fake out from the move up. What I mean by that is that we had a very big move up, used a lot of energy, gave you the fake out at the top of this move. Now we're getting a pullback. Now we're getting the pullback or a counter trend, a whipsaw. I truly believe this is just now a move through here. We may do something like this for a bit before we actually really start to see a really big up move. I believe this whole thing through here, traders, is nothing other than a very big move up. Then we get the resting phase for a while to then start, then, then to then really start the upward trend. Because from there to there, we haven't been in an upward trend. It has been no good, no good. Let's look at the good old, uh, S&P 500, I was gonna say, what, I was like, what am I looking at right now? S&P 500. S&P 500 right now has actually made a top and a double top in the market. We've had, we have actually had a very strong move to the upside through here. So I wouldn't be too surprised guys to see, actually see like a bit more weakness. We've got this resistance level here. Actually, that's all time highs. If the market does hold here guys, we break above 4,800. 4, I wouldn't be touching that, like not me. Like I just, I just don't think that's 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 good there, right? We have this move here, and then we've had this sort of this sort of action happening right now. So I think we need we we're either going to continue going sideways here for a bit more, guys, and then and then have a breakout, or then we're likely to see a nice pullback from there. Let's go look at the mining sector, and I'm telling you right now, traders, look at this here from the mining sector perspective. The mining sector perspective. I was doing this analysis with my coaching clients today. And we've actually made, this is a high, this could be a significant lower high, and here, and a lower low, right? Now, this is not gold, right? Do not get mixed this up with gold. And again, I know some of you little bumblebees in the chat box below are going to say, John, that doesn't make sense. How can gold go up and the mining sector go down and, the, and gold stocks go down? Traders, they look nothing like each other, right? If you think that, you're not looking at the truth. You're just taking off what someone else said to you. It's like, oh yeah, if gold does this, the mining stock's gonna do this. This here is the gold mining sector since 2020. This here is the gold market since 2020. Gold is almost at all-time new highs. The mining sector is pretty much at its all-time new lows. <laughs> you see what I'm saying there, guys? Seek truth regardless of what you hear. If I say anything, well, let me go test that out. I don't believe that Johnny Howe. I don't know Johnny Howe. Who, who do you think he is, right? I don't believe him. I'm going to go, let, let, me go, let me go test this out, right? See what I'm saying there? This here, this is the chart for the last probably 10 years or more of the mining sector. And this is gold. They look nothing like each other. So don't expect, don't think, oh, well, if gold does this, the mining sector does No, 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 no. Now you're complicating it. Let's go on the market itself and forget the correlations between the five other thousand markets you're trying to look at that then try to be smart, all right? I talked about that yesterday, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat that horse anymore, right? No more beating that horse, right? Anyway, back to the mining sector. Looks like low, lower high, and now the market's really starting to get a bit of steam behind it. So this is not good. We could be getting a lot uh, uh, another another big drop out of the mining sector might be coming. 
maybe one more, one more push to the downside before that big move comes. I do see, guys, long term, I do see big move, big, 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 big move coming. I see the bigger move coming. Big move coming. Right now, uh, 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 lot more weakness in the market. Do not be touching. Same for the GDXJ. Look at the GDXJ. Oh, GDXJ, look out below the big breakout. This this actually could be breaking out of this triangle pattern and get rid of the, to, to the downside. Again, traders, I have two I have two things in the back of my mind. Short term TA, I cannot go against what the market's telling me right now, and neither can you. Oh, the market's manipulated. No, it's not. You just don't. You're just not reading the markets. Read the market forward to this. Right now, we are in a we are in a more of a downtrend, strong selling on the GDXJ. Don't forget about the GDX. Forget about gold. Forget about you know the the, the commitment commitment traders report and all that sort of stuff. No, 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 no. Let's just go. What is this market telling me right now? Oh, we're actually in. Uh, if we look at this, this is actually a high. This is a lower high. This is a low. This is a lower. Oh, that's a downward trend. The end. Downward trend, the end. Not, well, let me go check gold and let me check the commitment trade report and let me go watch a few bunch of videos and then I'm going to make a decision what I think I'm going to do. No, 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 no. Right? Rewind back. No. What did I just say? Oh, this market is in a clear downward trend, the end. Not, and let me go check, check. No, 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 no. Right? Now, obviously, to me, guys, when it comes to my trading system and approach, that's rule number one out of five that I use. Or actually, it's really four, but I add five. But it's just, that's my very first rule I'm looking for is trend, right? Um, and again, it's important to know what a, what a good setup looks like. But here, right? The trend is down. What did I say before? I just, I forget. Guys, can you, can you actually put in the comment section below what I just said there? Um... The trend is down the end. How do, I don't even remember what I said there. Please put it in the... What did I say a few minutes ago? I need to rewind. Anyway, so let's go look at silver. Silver right now, guys. Look at silver. Silver's really exciting. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is where patience going to pay. Patience is going to pay, guys. You little bumblebees out of the chat box right now. Or you or you're little bumblebees in the chat box right now. Not all of you guys, right? Only 5% of you guys little bumblebees in the chat box were, right? But most of you guys are good little good, good, good little soldiers, right? Good little soldiers. <laughs> Did he just call me a soldier? Screw you, Johnny. <laughs> right? Some of you guys, when you when you, some of you guys are in the markets right now and you're trying to trade a lot, right? You're like trying to find every single little thing that moved. Me, I'm sitting back relaxed, waiting for these opportunities. Right? And as opportunities that you sit back and you wait and you watch and you're proud and you're patient and you're patient and you're patient and then bam, you hit it. Silver could be one of those things. Because if we do get, if we do get, I'm not saying we're going to, we could get a drop in this market, right? If we do get a strong breakout out of this triangle pattern, guess what's likely to happen with silver? Ha ha! And guess who's going to be, guess who's going to take advantage of it? Ha ha! This guy, Johnny Howe, right? This guy, right? So, we need to be patient, guys. We need to be patient waiting for these opportunities. The whole thing about trading these markets, and some of you guys are going through this right now, is right, you see this thing, I'm a day trader. I trade the market every day. You know what? I, I I look at the market every day, yes. Every day I'm looking, I'm scanning, I'm searching, I'm waiting for good opportunities. But I'm not a trader every day. I promise you, if you are trading every single day, I guarantee you, you are losing a lot of money, you're confused, your confidence is down, and you're about to quit trading because you're like, this thing sucks, this is not for me. It doesn't have to be that way, right? Your thinking's wrong, which means your thinking means I have to trade every day to make a lot of money because I'm starting with a $5,000 trading account, John. I need to make a lot of money. Like, no. Even with a $5,000 trading account, guys, you only need maybe a good couple of handful of good trades to start to get that into the 50 or 60,000, 50 or 60,000 or 66 figure range. And over the next two or three or four years, starting with a small account, it can potentially be in the multiple six figures, even potential seven figures, if you are patient. And then step number one, if you are waiting for those high quality setups that are likely to do really well for you. If you don't know that, that's where you should be starting from. Because if you go to the market right now and using this Johnny Howe YouTube video, oh my goodness, Johnny Howe said this about the stock market. Market's gotta go down, I'm gonna go short the market. No, smack, smack. Right? What did I? I used to get the feather duster when I was younger. I used to, what did you guys used to get when you were younger? Do you guys remember? I used to get the feather duster. I used to get the kettle cord and my dad's boot. <laughs> what 
What did you guys used to get when you were younger? Anyway, I'm having too much fun here, guys. <laughs> Let's go look at gold, right? Look at gold. What's happening with gold right now? Gold's just getting a little bit of pullback. Uh, uh, uh. Gold's one of those oh, patient things, right? Patience, patience. People are like, John, I want to get in. I want to get in. I want to get in. I want to... No, right? No, smack, smack, right? What's happening with gold right now? If this is your first time you're... <laughs> If this is the first time you're actually seeing my videos, welcome to this. Welcome here, guys. I really like to have fun when I'm doing this. A lot of people are stressed out of their mind with their trading and all this sort of stuff. It's like I like to have fun what I'm what I'm doing. And the reason why I have fun is because I've been trading for 20 years, and now after looking back all through that, I realize there's just a handful of stuff out there that I really need to focus on to get a much understanding of what these markets are doing, and all the other stuff is complete bullshit. And it's going to lead you down the wrong path. That's why I'm laughing, right? Because I'm on the other side now. I know what to focus on. All the other stuff I don't need to focus on. And I can make much better much better trading decisions from that there. Look what's happening here, traders. Strong move up. And now we're going through this here. We could be getting ready for something like... If we get something like this, guys, and then a breakout, guess what's coming with gold? Those who are patient and just watching every day and watching and watching and patient and patient and not getting so tied up and not getting any of these bullshit trades that are losing your confidence and sending you backwards. Watching and prouding and watching and prouding and watching and prouding. You know, guess what goal could be? Goal could be a thousand percent return for an option trade. <gasps> oh, if that's a $5,000 trade, that could be anywhere between a $25,000 and $50,000 profit. <gasps> just one trade. Hang on a minute. What? <laughs> That sounds like a scam, John. <laughs> no, there's the opportunities that come around, right? There's the opportunities that come around for me, okay? And so that's what I'm seeing through there. And last but least, guys, I'm going to finish off on this on a high note. Oh, actually, it's not really a high note. It's just a note. Uh, <laughs> high note, a note, whatever. <laughs> so, let's look at the daily charts, all right? Let's look at the daily charts. On the financial sector, roller coaster pattern. Market go up, 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 and then the market come down like that, right? But roller coaster pattern is just just a move through there. What one thing I do expect to see is the market go really strong to the upside. Then we get a bit of a pullback. We see this for the first half of the year, something like that, and then we see a really big strong move to the upside. So on a serious note, traders, I hope that some of the stuff that I've been talking about today has really helped you. Uh, I also, when I'm making fun about all this sort of stuff I've talk, been talking about in this video today, traders, I'm just trying to just trying to share with you and trying to help you, okay? Especially when it comes to like things like you're, you're trying to combine the gold mining stocks and the gold market together. But the truth is, if you actually look at the market for the last five years, they look nothing like each other. So why why are you going to start to overcomplicate things which something is not even true, right? It's like mining stock do this. It's like they don't look like, they don't look like anything. And I know some of you guys are going to try to fight me on that. But, the, but look at the truth. Don't feel me. The truth is we saw what, what, what the market's doing, okay? Seek truth regardless of appearance. And also, guys, I'm trying to share with you guys what's taken me 20 years to figure out. And that's where, guys, it's like, it's, I'm, I'm, for me as a trader, how I do well out of trading is I just wait for opportunities. And if I have to wait a whole month, a two months for a really good opportunity, then I'm just going to wait for that. Like, that's, and, but it's, oh my goodness, you, you, you have to wait two months? Like, if I have to, no, I don't normally have to, right? Generally, generally a good three to four weeks and then, you know, on a long period. Uh, but then suddenly when I go through these quiet periods, when I am, when I, when I, when I do go through these quiet periods, I don't trade because there's nothing to trade. And then when the really good trades come, then you start to make some good money as well too throughout the year. And that's what I'm all about, traders. And, you know, traders, I didn't start off like this, right? On that first, the first thing in the description there, guys, I want you to go join my webinar today because I go through three secrets. Secret number one is about how I was actually $250,000 in debt. I'm laughing about it now, but $250,000 in debt because I was going down the same path a lot of you guys are going down right now. Like trying to correlate. Well, I, gold could break out soon, so therefore mining stocks are going to be bullish. No, they, they're they nothing like each other. Mining stocks are very weak right now. Gold could be getting ready for a breakout soon. Maybe, right? So all this sort of stuff. And then obviously secret number two is all about my trading system. And then obviously secret, secret number three is about using um, scans to help you find the trades, right? So anyway, traders, hope this helps you out today and have a great day.